everyone and welcome back to the Electron Retract YouTube channel. I'm Martin Pickering and today I'm pleased to announce a whole new lineup of products coming from Electron Retracts. So let's roll that intro and see if you find anything different. That's right. Electron Retracts is bringing out a whole new line of products which are not related to landing gears. And these products are going to be sold under the new Electron Accessories brand. The first product release for Electron Accessories and the star of today's video is a whole new lineup of perfectly machined servo arms. Available in two colours to choose from, anodized red or anodized black currently offered in four sizes, which are 10 and 15 millimeters, 20 and 25 millimeters, one and a quarter and one and a half inches, and one and a half and one and three quarter inches. At this time, they're available in a T25 spline, this being the most used spline in most servos, commonly known as a Futaba spline, with more options becoming available soon. But why produce a line of servo arms when there are already so many available? The answer is simple and is the same philosophy as is followed in Electron Retracts lineups. Wanting to produce the best and most effective products possible. This starts by producing the whole lineup of Electron Accessory servo arms from solid 7075 T6 aviation grade aluminium. The same is used in the retracts. Said cut has been optimally designed using the latest techniques in order to assure a servo arm which is both light and strong at the same time. The results are design features such as the extra large spline support and milled down servo arm centre which has been thinned but not fully cut away or the increased thickness of the servo arm end where we'll be bolting our ball links to. This is all done with the same care and precision as is always taken with all Electron products. This is especially noticeable in the milling of the spline cutout. The results are more than obvious under magnification, however it's still surprisingly visible even with the naked eye how well and precise and well finished the grooves for that T25 spline really are. This precision is not just something to brag about though and under a microscope and is something that can truly be noticed when installing the arm onto a servo as the fit feels as good as it actually is, requiring a smooth yet firm push to lock the arm into its fully attached position. Thanks to this extremely well-fitting match, we've been able to do away with the need for a second screw to clamp the arm onto the servo spline. If you think about it, it makes sense. Why add an additional split right at the back of the servo arm in order to assure a tight fit on the servo spline? Why not just mill it with great precision in the first place? And this is exactly what Electron are now doing. I personally have actually been testing these servo arms for about six months in my black laser, 120cc engine and with immense deflections and doing my utmost to cause some kind of slop or failure. After all this time though, I'm pleased to say that the arms are staying firmly in place with no slop and no issue. Personally, I was concerned about potentially losing the single screw which holds the arm in place, as has happened to me in the past. However, after discussing this with Electron, they explained how, when the fit is right, the screw plays little to no part in the operation, and that when milled correctly, as with these new arms, it's so tight that even vibration is reduced and that I needn't worry. Thankfully, following all my testing, I can agree with that last statement, as I haven't had any issues at all. That doesn't mean to say that a drop of soft Loctite wouldn't go amiss, you know, just to be on the safe side. For more information on the Electron Accessories servo arm lineup, make sure to check out their website www.electron-retracts.com and leave any feedback in the comment section below. 
we're also preparing the launch of Electron's second accessory. So if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest product releases, news and tutorials. Until then, thank you all for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.